Hello students, how are you all? I hope everyone fine. Today I am going to discuss some very important questions, all of 5 mark question. Okay, in the 5 mark question, this is the first question. So, first question is like this, show that function f from n to y defined by f of x is equal to 4x plus 3, where y is equal to a set of all element y such that y is equal to 4x plus 3 is an invertible function and find its inverse. So, when you can say that a function is invertible function, Ha, maybe you remember we discussed in the last class a, uh, a function is called invertible function if f of g of y is equal to identity of y g of f of x is equal to identity of x if these two conditions satisfies you can say that function is invertible and inverse of f is g this is the last video that I discussed so using this we are going to solve one very important problem this is asked maybe two three times in final exam for five marks question number for this particular problem is 39 then 39 in the question okay ha, solution is as follows first you have to obtain g okay so start like this let f of x is equal to y this implies f of x and 4x plus 3 so 4x plus 3 is equal to y 4x is equal to y minus 3 x is equal to y minus 3 divided by 4. Now using this define a function g from reverse the domain and codomain like this okay by g of y is equal to y minus 3 by 4. So this is the first starting stage. You should get g and f to use this okay. So now after this you are going to find you know g of f of x or you can write here to prove this is better to prove you know g of f of x is equal to identity of x you have to prove this okay so how to prove consider the left hand g of f of x and then you know g of f of x composition in pdelva yes very good so this is g of f of x in LA 4x plus 3 f of x is 4x plus 3 huh. now directly you can substitute or as usual what okay we did in the last problems uh, last video also that take the given function as the given expression as z huh. if g of z and l what is g of x g of y is this right so g of z and l z minus 3 by 4 this is g of z and it should be simplified now okay so what is z? z is 4x plus 3 minus 3 idu minus 3 divided by 4. So plus 3 minus 3 cancel 4x by 4, 4, 4 cancel alba. So what is remaining? x. So x is represent identity function of x. So g of f of sorry g of f of x we proved ix or in identity function of so first part are title huh. now similar to this we have to find out another composition that is next one to prove is f of g of y is equal to identity function of y capital y better to write okay identity function of x il becan you lay no domain you know n alva identity function of and then he go very good. This is better. Okay. Huh. So that is this is we have to prove. Okay. Take this f of g of y. Okay. This is also equal to f of g of y. F of g of y. This is nothing but f of g of y. You know y minus three divided by four. Where y minus three divided by four. Huh. you can substitute as it is or you take this as z this is better always okay risk is very less okay in this case huh. f of z i know if this is f of x what is f of z 4z plus 3 it is 4 into z and i know y minus 3 by 4 plus 3 4 4 cancel y minus 3 plus 3 3 3 cancel remaining is y this is identity function of why so even second case is also proved so when these two conditions satisfy that is f of g of x is equal to uh, x g of f of x equal to y then you can write therefore you know the given function is an invertible 
is an invertible function. So first case is over, four mark is over. Last one work, see to find one more question, in find the inverse, you are not going to do anything extra, okay, it's already there in the answer, just writing the final answer. So because of this condition, okay, f of g of x, g of f of x, okay, you can directly write inverse of f is g of x. Whatever the function satisfies these two conditions, okay, definitely that is called inverse function. So, f inverse of x is equal to g of x, g of y and o, y minus 3 by 4. So, g of x and agatha x minus 3 by 4. So, this is the inverse of the function. It's stable for 5 marks. So, first find out g of f of x and prove that it is equal to x. Next, find out f of g of y and prove that it is equal to y. Then, okay, if both case is proved, then write directly g of x as the inverse of f. Very good. Please remember this is a very, 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 very important question and it is asked so many times in final exam. Please remember, easy to answer as a question number 39, you will get this. Okay, understood now? Very good. Next one, even this question is also asked in the final exam. Okay, for five marks again. Similar procedure. So, I will first problem explain what has to be done. So, I will just write the solution. Observe carefully. Okay, so solution is as follows. What we did in the last problem? Huh. We took the given function as violet f of x is equal to y. f of x, you know, x square plus 4 is equal to y x square is equal to y minus 4 x is equal to only plus or minus bari bari. can you tell me why we are not writing plus or minus what may be the reason ha huh, the reason is r plus positive real number negative real number are not allowed so using this okay using this define a function define g write ulta 4 in 4 to infinity to r plus r plus is a positive integer okay define Okay, defined as g of y is equal to root of y minus 4. So, first obtain g from f, then take the composition, okay. So, what we have to prove? First, we have to prove, you know, g of f of x is equal to identity function of the domain. Domain in LA, r plus is nothing but you have to prove it is equal to x. Step. Okay, so take the composition g of f of x, it is equal to g of f of x, correct? Huh? So it is g of f of x, you know, f of x is x square plus 4. f of x is x square plus 4. Okay, so as I told in the previous problem, you take this as a z. Okay, take this as a z. Now, what, this is g of y. Okay, so what tell me what is g of z? g of z is root of z minus 4. Y replaced by z, that's it. You know this composition. Ha, z, you know, x square plus 4 minus 4. Plus 4 minus 4 cancel like that. Square root of x square is x, and it is nothing but identity function of the domain. So, one case is over. We proved g of, you know, f of x is equal to identity function of x. Start right? Yes. The next task. What is the next task? We have to prove. What we have to prove? Tell me. F of g of y is equal to identity function of 4 to infinity. Identity function of 4 to This is a closed bracket, so open bracket. Fine? Yeah. Now, take this f of g of y is equal to f of g of y, you know, root of y minus 4. You can take this as a f of z, where z is equal to root of y minus 4. For that, f of x, what is f of z? z square plus 4. So, yeah. Huh. z and then, you know, root of y minus 4 whole square plus 4. 4, correct? Huh? Uh, root and square root cancel, it is y minus 4 plus 4. Minus 4 plus 4 cancel, what is remaining? y. So, we proved this is identity function of 4 to infinity. So, what we proved? f of g of y, f of g of y is the identity function of the 4 to infinity. So, here do case prove other in So, what is the conclusion? The conclusion is 4. 
F is an invertible. F is an invertible function. F is an invertible function. Okay. So one part finish. The next part is find its inverse. Find its inverse. And then you know. Yeah, nothing but writing inverse of x. Where you will get inverse of f? It is nothing but g of x. G of x is there. G of x is root of, I know, root of x minus 4. So, inverse of f is root of x minus 4. Okay, next question. This is also an important question. Three times asked in final exam. Then, 39th grade, same question. Moosala kelly, right? Huh. The procedure is same. There is no difference in that. Okay, first work. Okay, little different compared to last two. Okay, you have to rearrange this expression. As it is, you cannot use it. As it is, you cannot use it. So one rearrangement. The observe my correct I am writing this into perfect square. Can we write nine x square as a three x whole square? Yes, fine. Then two times three x two a b break number six x one. So what is remaining? One. Plus a square plus 2ab plus b square b1 1 square minus 5 bar back. So in one back, minus 6 plus 1 minus 6 you know minus 5. So the given expression is also equal to 3x plus you know a square plus 2ab 3x plus 1 whole square minus 6. So now for this particular problem this is f of x not the given expression this is not f of x we are using this f of x we are using the next procedure the remaining procedure is as same as that of previous problem so take the given function f of x is equal to y so this implies you know 3x is 3x plus 1 whole square minus 6 x minus 6 is equal to y that is 3x plus 1 whole square is equal to y plus 6 that is 3x plus 1 is equal to root of y plus 6 that is 3x is equal to root of y plus 6 minus 1 that is x is equal to root of y plus 6 minus 1 by 3 you know using this okay you know using this you can write you know g you can define g now define g Hebrido ulta baribeko domain and codomain minus phi to infinity to r plus by huh, what is g of y now? g of y is equal to root of y plus 6 minus 1 divided by 3. Now, as usual, what we have to do? We have to prove that g of f of x is an identity function of the domain. What is the domain? r plus. And right, you have to prove this is nothing but equal to x. As the difference in illa. Previous problem tarane do la first work matter different. Okay, g of f of x and reno. What is f of x? Don't use the first one, the rearrange one you should use 3x plus 1 whole square minus 6. It then use multiple first quota f of x and use multiple. Huh. Now you can consider this as a g of z where z is equal to 3x plus 1 whole square minus 6. So what is g of z? This is our g of y. So g of z and I got the root of z plus 6 minus 1 by 3. Correct? Huh? So that is root of 3x plus 1 whole square minus 6. Then do plus 6 inside the square root. But minus 1 is square root. Then if you write my square root for minus 1 whole thing is wrong. So plus 6 minus 6 cancel out 3x plus 1 whole square and okay square root minus 1 by 3. So then e square and square root cancel out 3x plus 1 minus 1 by 3 plus 1 minus 1 cancel 3x by 3 3 3 cancel x yes we proved that okay you will get identity function when you take the composition of f and g so one part are one part complete i i hope you understood okay the next one same procedure you know to prove to prove you know f of g of y is equal to identity function of the codomain minus phi to infinity you have to prove this okay so take the composition this is equal to f of 
g of y f of g of y and it is equal to f of what is g of y so be careful agree so okay uh, it's not easy to substitute everything so be careful once and a mistake make whole work is wrong so be careful here especially this work ha huh. now what is f of z don't use again the first one second one f of z is equal to 3z plus 1 whole square minus 6 3z plus 1 whole square minus 6 so three times so we'll bracket and hakkolod better okay proper age z and reno y plus 6 square root minus 1 by 3 3 z is over then pehle plus 1 okay and whole square artha aagidala bari do ha so 3 3 cancel root of y plus 6 minus 1 plus 1 Whole square minus six plus one minus one cancel. Root of y plus six y plus six e square root square root cancel आ गया तो इल्ल वन स्टेप बेकर बिर्बो दो minus y plus six minus six plus six minus six cancel. What is remaining? Y. And this is nothing but identity function of the codomain that is minus phi to infinity. So even second case is also proved. Once it is clear, then you know therefore you can write f is an invertible. Correct? F is an invertible correct ah and f inverse of x you know g of x what is g of x root of g of x root of x plus 6 minus 1 divided by 3 so this complete one more five mark question very important please remember artha aita thank you